Today we're going to talk Nikon. More Nikon stuff, more Nikon rumors. And guess what? We have a Z mirrorless medium format camera coming out. Details coming up. But first, if you've not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for more Nikon news, rumors, and just information about all cameras. I also do videos on travel, so stay tuned for those. All right, let's get back to the video. So today being April 1st, Nikon UK has posted an image about a development announcement of a new medium format Z camera. Looks kind of like the Z8 body that we've been seeing all around, but who knows for sure what's really coming, right? Being that it's April 1st, I'm gonna peg this one as a April Fool's joke. We've been dying for some Z8 news or any kind of camera from Nikon at this point. So being April Fool's, I think someone's having a bit of fun and put that information out there. Don't get crazy, it's not just me. Anybody who's looking for this stuff are probably gonna be putting videos out there about the same thing. However, keep in mind it is April 1st. So let's get to some real information. Well, somewhat real, rumored. So as far as we know, a Z8 camera should be coming out this year. Rumor state, it could be in April. I have speculated from early in the year that Nikon may release something at NAB, which happened to coincide with the middle of April. I think it starts on the 15th of April. The rumor was saying that something should be released mid-April, sorry, not released, but announced by mid-April, and by May, it should start selling. So there is my potential thought of what could be coming, and if I'm right, since Nikon is talking about they want to focus more on video, some of the patent information I've been reading online seems as though there is some development of a multiple, well, developments of multiple sensors. So anything is possible at this juncture. We know when patents are put out, sometimes these tech don't actually come to fruition for months and sometimes even years. Some of these things have been going on for some time. But let me talk about some things that I found. So, image stabilization in lens. Um, we know that Nikon has had VR vibration reduction in lenses, some of their lenses, but the Z-Line cameras don't have that many vibration reduction lenses. There are a few. And for those cameras, the mirrorless cameras, the smaller version, sorry, not mirrorless, um, APS-C cameras, they have a few lenses that are vibration reduction built, that have vibration reduction built into them. So those guys who have those cameras that don't have IBIS will have some amount of stability for those cameras. For the IAN cameras that have IBIS built into it, we don't have that many lenses out there that actually has vibration reduction. We know, well, I know, because I use Sony cameras, that Sony has a few lenses that have optical image stabilization and or OSS, optical steady shot, built into some of their lens. But their IBIS system is so freaking stable. If you've seen the ZV-E1 uh, announcement a couple days ago, man, that thing is awesome. I have the A7R5, and this camera has an advanced version of their IBIS, okay? I also have the FX3, sorry, FX30 that I'm recording right now. I got that one because the active stabilization was pretty good. This one came out even better active stabilization. Now they just trounce me and like, hey, we got something that's even better. I'm not gonna buy it. 25, what's it, 2200, well, let's call it $2,500 of taxes for a vlogging camera that cuts out some of the video features that, you know, the next level creators want. That's the next level. People who really want to film, it's great for vlogging stuff, but yeah, no. This camera does cost more than that one, does more than that one, but that's a whole other argument. Watch my video on the ZV-E1. It's out now, it just came out this morning, so check that out and let me know what you guys think about that. Anyway, next thing, new BSI sensor. I've been scouring those patent information to find out, to find out what I can figure from what they've been patenting. Is it coming out soon? Is it gonna come out in maybe Z63, Z73? We don't really know. But I did see that one and I wanted to talk about it because there's talk now that there's another camera coming out in addition to the Z8, but not is that 63 hmm what could that be we really don't know people are saying it could be a zf i really doubt it i don't think like is going to make a uh 
photo only camera at this point. That'd be kind of shoot himself in the foot, especially when they want to go down the video route. So we'll leave that one alone for now. New wave motor for lens. As we all know, if you own an Icon camera for video, while the autofocus system is, you know, one part of it, the lens, the lens motor drive is also the other portion that's going to help you to track things better. For video, I've seen some things for my use and some other people's use on YouTube where it doesn't track very well. I know Sony has made faster motors in some of the newer lens and when it comes to video tracking, awesome. Okay, not telling you guys to go jump over to Sony. I did, but you know, we're this close to the Z8. Let's wait and see what's gonna come out and then we can decide. But I think if some new lenses are also released, which nobody's talking about, but I think some new lenses are gonna come out with this camera to help it in the video side of things, to keep track, keep focus. You know, faster mode is gonna help. I know the new uh, 85 millimeter just came out, but many people aren't gonna film with that. That thing is big, it's huge, okay? Portrait shooters, you got your 1.2 lens and your fantastic image quality and bokeh, you guys are happy. Us video guys need some stuff that can track very well and keep up with the image stabilization inside the body of the camera. So Nikon, let's get that. A lens mount, some kind of lens mount adapter. It was a long freaking read on this one. I don't really know what it is, but it seems as though it could be something in between the camera and the lens, or it could be something that can be built on the lens. They may mention about three o'clock position for like some kind of lock and unlocking device and a nine o'clock position. If you have the FTZ2, we know that, you know, the controls are much like kind of cameras and Nikons, they're pretty much in a three o'clock position, but there's nothing in the nine o'clock position. So what's it about? And as I'm thinking about it, you know, this planner trademark that's out there it lists camera, lens, photographic, cinematography equipment. Are we seeing a cinema, cinema camera coming from Nikon soon? Something totally different than anything we've been expecting. We've been like so caught up with the Z8. Most people who are thinking about it are photographers who are saying, hey, it has to be like a Z850. Uh, but I and a few of us want it to be more video focused. What if they're actually developing something different? That's going to be more video focus or playing the video. This is why we're not seeing a Z6 III or Z7 III anytime soon. They're putting all the resources to give us a video camera. You heard it here first. Maybe we are getting a video camera different than anything that we all expect. So with maybe a different mount, who knows? Hmm. I don't think we're gonna see a medium format Z body because that'd be a, a whole other thing. It could be a mount for that. Is there an adapter for it? Who knows? I think it's a rumor. I think it's just an April Fool's joke, but yeah, let's move on. Solid state imaging devices and updated or new autofocus system. That's my notes from what I was reading. So solid state imaging device, a new kind of sensor with a new and updated autofocusing system. Possible, right? Because a sensor, you can build a lot of stuff on there for the autofocusing and all that. It's not a separate thing. So imagine if while the Z9 was out, they've taken the opportunity to tweak that sensor, that stacked sensor that's inside it. We're hearing that that's going to go on the Z8. But if they've tweaked it to make the autofocus even better, hmm, maybe they popped in an AI chip like Sony and we can get really good autofocus and stability. <laughs> Yeah, who knows, who knows? There's also some information about an update to the compression software. We know that Nikon has been battling red about patents for that image compression internal to the camera. Could Nikon have patented something new or changed it up a bit? If you shoot raw, you know the files are large. And even with some compression, they're still on a larger side. Is Nikon coming out with even better compression? Who knows? They do have Apple ProRes in there as well, too. So uh, what's it called? NRAW? Um, could be making it better? We can't tell. Don't know for sure. But these are the things that I've come across. And yeah, there's possibilities so a number of things. So let's talk about this ZV-1 for a moment. And let me pull this camera over here. 
we, we talked about a camera that has really advanced image stabilization. This one is really good, but that one now is taking it to the next level. It's using the A7S3 and FX3 sensor. Could we possibly see something in this camera, an update? I know we're talking that kind of stuff, but looking at the body of this camera, right? This camera can shoot up to 8K. That little camera is 4K, maybe 4K 120. But all the tech that's inside of it can generate some heat. I felt this get warm when I was shooting 8K on it. One of the things we talk about when it comes to 8K is will the Z8, even though they said, rumored 8K 60, be in a smaller body, will it need a fan to cool the camera down? Hmm. That's a thought, right? The Z9 does well for two hours, 8K 30. And I think that they did a firmware update, so maybe they can do 8K 60 as well. I could be wrong on that one. If uh, it is wrong, you know, I'll put some information on the screen later. But if they're gonna put 8K60 in a D850 size body, I think that camera has to be a bit thicker. The tallness gives it some room for some more heat sink. This A7R5 only does 8K24. The Alpha 1, slightly heavier, and I'm assuming that because there's more heat sink in that one can do 8K30. So I don't think Nikon would really have an issue putting 8K60 inside that body. It may limit the recording time somewhat. Could they do a fan like Fuji did, something you screw on the back and cool it? Maybe, but maybe the height gives them more room for heat sinks to keep this thing cool. That's a possibility. So there are lots of rumors, not much in the way of an actual camera. Those who are out there utilizing these cameras of NDAs that they were signed, things trickle out from time to time, but not sufficient enough for us to make a decision. The camera's done, it's built, it's ready, okay? I think we can all agree on that right now. This is just my thoughts on what I think is coming next. You guys can tell me what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. We've been going back and forth on this thing and what you think. The photographer guys say, hey, it has to have this. The video guys say, hey, yes, it's this. Who's right? Do we get both in the camera? Do we get more photographic stuff or more video stuff? Let me hear your thoughts. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Hold on, before we go. There was also a patent for the letter M or trademark for Nikon. So are we thinking about what this UK site thing is? Could it be a rumor, could it be something, could it be real, who knows? But it did list photography and cinematography lenses and apparatus. So, hmm, who knows what's gonna come. All right, I'll leave you with that. Letter M, is it a medium format Nikon or something for a completely different cinema camera? In the chat, put it in the chat, let me know. Oh, you, you're not subscribed. You're watching my video all the time. If you haven't subscribed. Get down there. Yep, yep, right there, right there, right there, right there. Right. Yep, hit the subscribe button. Do it, do it. Okay, thanks. You're the man, you're the woman. All right, we'll talk next time. Later.